Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Chatham and Seton Hall Prep is brought to you by Cooperman Barnabas Medical Center in Livingston. Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Seton Hall Prep is being brought to you by One on One with Steve Adubato. Neri Rodriguez coming to you from Chatham. After an 0-2 stint in Florida to start the year, the state's number one ranked team, Seton Hall Prep, making their NJ debut this season looks to put their trip to the Big Orange behind them as they square up with 2-0 number 16 Chatham. And it's Prep getting the party jumping early. Joe Del Moro draws first blood for the Pirates less than two minutes in. Later, Dartmouth commit Tyler Julen joins in and they're ahead 2-0 with 6.50 left. Julen back at it as 528 remains. Hits Brad Schuster for the score and a three-goal lead. The Pirates in front 3-1 after one. Prep would open the second with another goal. Midway through the quarter, Shep Boyd certified laser. That will cut it to 4-2. Tyler Julen not impressed. Responds with his second goal as 323 remains. Luke Nezovic likes. Less than a minute later, takes the pass from Nolan Sable and falling down lands his first score. Prep going ahead by four late in the first half. The Cougars not going away though. Charlie Lowe finds Nick Lagunowicz and Lagunowicz with a little something extra on that one hits with just 57 seconds left. Chatham down 6-3 at the break. Seton Hall Prep was also getting some major production from Lucas Angel at Fogo. The sophomore in his second varsity game winning 15 of 18 faceoffs for an 83 win percentage in this one. The Pirates open the second half with another score. With 46 seconds to go, Kyle Gibney keeping Chatham within striking distance with his first goal. 7-4 your score after three. After another Cougar score to open the fourth, Less than three minutes in, Tyler Julen will let you know when he's had enough. Julen cooling with goal number three for the hat. Pirates ahead 8-5. But there's a reason Chatham is one of the best programs in the state. Kyle Gibney with his second goal cutting it to 8-6 with 7.25 to go. The Cougars pushing late, but the Seton Hall prep defense holding their ground. A big stop from goalie Connor Keenan as 2.31 remains. Four saves for him in this one. After that, the Pirates would do a good job of burning some clock, but Nolan Sable in it for much more than that. Sable water, and with 44 seconds remaining, that would do it. 9-6 your final, Seton Hall Prep getting their first win now 1-2. and two. The top-ranked team in New Jersey finally gets in the win column after dropping their first two on the road against IMG Academy and Lake Mary of Florida. Dartmouth commit Tyler Julen leads the way with three goals and an assist. Luke Nezovic with two goals and an assist. And how about Nolan Sable? One goal and four assists for a five-point game. Prep coming off that loss in the non-public A final with big expectations this year, especially starting with that number one ranking. They will be tested with their tough top 20 filled schedule. The Pirates will look to keep the train rolling against Westfield. Chatham now 2-1 with the loss. The Cougars with not too much to hang their heads about. The reigning North Group 3 sectional champs kept this one close and answered prep. Kyle Gibney finishing with two goals for Chatham. They'll look to bounce back against West Morris. Here's Tyler Julin after. Yeah, I mean, it's huge. I mean, we, we had a tough, tough couple days in Florida, but, you know, for us, it's just baby steps and, and getting our confidence back. And I think today was a definitely a good step in the right direction so it was, it was awesome today honestly we, we didn't really see the ranking until a couple days after we, we didn't really we try not to focus on run rankings too much I mean the only rankings that matter for us is is the end of the season and we kind of want to finish the season ranked number one which we haven't done yet so you know the, the hype is nice and the the belief from from everyone else is nice but we, we just want belief in ourselves and, and to just prove we could do it on the field come, come June reporting for Jersey Sports Zone I'm Neri Rodriguez